Hello children. Today we are going to start a new chapter of English grammar that is chapter 9 pronouns. Now open your textbook and let us read the sentences given on page number 30. First, Arun is a good student. He does well in class. Second, Sheila is my sister. She is a teacher. Third, Madhu and I are best friends. We go to school together. Children, can you see the words in bold red? These words are pronouns. What are pronouns? A pronoun is a word that replaces the name of a person or object. or you can say a pronoun is a word that is used in the place of a noun for example ravi likes to play cricket he practices every evening second koel is a singer she sang at the concert third look at the cat it is drinking milk in these sentences pronouns he she and it are used instead of the names ravi koel and cat children we use the pronouns to avoid the repetitions of the name again and again because it doesn't sounds good at all now there are three types of pronouns personal pronouns under personal pronouns comes the subject pronouns and the object pronouns personal pronouns stands for the first person person who is speaking the second person the person to whom the speaker speaks and the third person person about whom first and second person are talking now children let me read this sentence nicely and clearly to you personal pronouns stands for the first person the second person and the third person who are first person person who is speaking are the first person who are the second person The second person are the person to whom the speaker speaks and who are the third person the third person are the person about whom first and second person are talking have you understood children now let us see this conversation for example okay neha Where did you go last evening? Gina I went to the mall. Himani came with me. We met Ajay and Rohit there. They invited us to go to the party with them. Neha Are you friends with Ajay? Gina I have known him for 3 years. Although I didn't know he knows Himani. He is in fact her cousin. children here in this conversation the words in bold red are personal pronouns and there are two types of personal pronouns and they are subject pronouns and object pronouns now let us see what are subject pronouns and what are object pronouns first i we and they are subject pronoun for example they live in mumbai second me us them him and her are object pronouns for example the students like her third you is both a subject pronoun and an object pronoun for example 
you can borrow this book. Second, my aunt knows you. Children, you have to keep it in your mind that subject pronouns are always used in the beginning of the sentence. For example, you can see in the screen, they live in Mumbai. So, the word they is a subject pronoun and therefore, it is used at the first place of the sentence. Sorry, in the sentence. Then, the object pronouns are used at the end of the sentence. As you can see in the example, the students like her. So, the word her is the object pronouns and therefore, it has been used at the end of the sentence. Now, third is you. You is both a subject pronoun and an object pronoun. So, I have already told you that a subject pronoun comes at the first place in the sentence and an object pronoun always comes at the end of the sentence. So, you can clearly see in the examples, in the, both the examples, how the word you is used. In the first sentence, you is used as a subject pronoun and in the second sentence you is used as an object pronoun. So children, I hope you have understood what are pronouns, what are the types of pronouns and how the subject pronouns and object pronouns are used. Now, let us discuss few sentences of question A on page number 31 and the rest you will do it on your own in your textbook. So, the question says, complete these sentences with the correct pronoun. First is, Jasmine is unwell, Dash has caught a cold. Which pronoun will we use here? We will use she. Why? Because Jasmine is the name of a girl. Second, the squirrel was eating nuts. Dash was very hungry. Which pronoun will we use here children? We will not use he or she. Why? Because he and she are used for person. And squirrel is not a person. It is an animal. So, which article is left now? It. Yes. So, we will use it. Third, the plates have been washed. Put dash in the cupboard. Which pronoun will we use here children? Should we use us? No. Should we use we? No. Then which pronoun will we use here? We will use them. Why? Because us and we are used for person. Okay? Now children, the rest of the questions you will try to do it on your own. The answers will be provided to you in the notes. You can correct the answers after the video after watching the video thank you children for watching the video